good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are and what time of day it is when you watch this video. My name is Z, and welcome back to my gaming corner. In today's episode, we are going to discuss Tier 3. Because in this playlist, we are focusing on the raids of Azeroth, and usually when Blizzard releases a new raid, they release a new tier of gear to go with it. Now, this was only applicable to tiers 1 through 20. There is no tier 21 in this game or tier 22, even though there have been raid tiers following the raid tier that gives tier 20. But tier 3 is different in that while it used to be given out by Old Nax Ramus, so for those of you who are playing classic World of Warcraft, after the next patch update, which will give you AQ-40 and the opening of the Scarab Gate, after that, the final, final patch of Classic WoW was that of Naxxramas. When you go to the Eastern Plague Lands and the Ziggurat is floating above the Eastern Plague Lands and you have to go in and basically kill Kel'Thuzad who was raised in undeath by Arthas during the novel Arthas by Christy Golden when Kael Thazad was killed by Arthas Menethil and also Lady Jane of Proudmoore. They killed him for poisoning the grain of Lordaeron. And then once Arthas got Frostmourn and he was the first Death Knight, he was under Ner'zhul's power but he had not yet received the Helm of Domination, he went and dug up the remains of Kel'Thuzad, marched through Quel'Thalas to Silvermoon City, and raised Kel'Thuzad in undeath using the Sunwell, defiling the Sunwell and basically destroying the High Elven civilization. He then placed Kel'Thuzad in charge of creating more undeath, creating more Scourge, perfecting the plague, doing all of that sort of thing, and his base of operations was in Eastern Plague Lands, just outside of Strathholm, in the Tainted Fungal Forest. Naxxramas used to float above the land over there by Strathholm. Tier 3 used to come from that place, and then when Wrath of the Lich King came out, and we got all the Northrend content. Northrend housed Naxxramas. Like Naxxramas flew, like it floated across the northern sea, and it went back home to Northrend. And now, in current, in retail World of Warcraft, Naxxramas floats near Winter, Winter Held, or Winter whatever it is, in, in Dragonblight. It's east of Dragon, of, of Wormrest Temple, where all the dragons congregate. And I think it's Winterfell, Winterfell Fortress or, or whatever. Let's look at the map. Let's look at the map. So in Northrend, in Dragonblight, Winterguard Keep. Naxxramas floats in the sky southeast of Winterguard Keep. It's east of Wormrest Temple. But Naxxramas in Retail World of Warcraft is right there in Northrend. And Naxxramas now gives Tier 7. Now, Tier 7 looks very similar to Tier 3, it's just a different color. Tier 3 has a very iconic color set to it. Tier 7 looks just like Tier 3, but it has a different coloring to it, so it doesn't look quite as schnazzy as Tier 3 looks. So, if Naxxramas is no longer above the Eastern Plague Lands, why are we discussing Tier 3? And why am I in Dalaran on the Broken Isles? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Well, with the release of the Black Market Auction House, and that came out way, way back in Mists of Pandaria, if you remember, Madame Goya used to be in Pandaria, and she was right here in the Veiled Stair, at the Tavern in the Mist, if you if you zoomed in, there's the tavern, and then right down here, right across the road, there was a little hut right here, and you go in that little hut, and Madame Goya was there. 
And then in Warlords of Draenor, Madame Goya moved to... Um, she moved to, to Nagrand on Draenor. So if we went to... If we go to Draenor, Madame Goya moved her base of operations for the Black Market Auction House up here to... I want to say it was here in the Broken Precipice, but it might have been over here by the Ring of Blood by, by Tar the Terrible. I think she was she was either right here or she was right over here in the Broken Pre Precipice, but she was in the Grand. And then in Legion, when the Kirin Tor moved their city of Dalaran from up in Crystal Song Forest down here to the Broken Isles, Madame Goya set up shop in the underbelly of Dalaran. So if we go to the underbelly of Dalaran, You'll see this room right up here on the far north side of the underbelly. You come down these stairs right here, run down these little stairs right here, and go in this hallway. The Black Market Auction House is still right here in Legion Dalaran. And Tier 3 can only be found on the Black Market Auction House. Now, in addition to Tier 3 sets, there are also exclusive mounts that were once removed from the game, like the Plague Proto Drake, the X-51 Nether Rocket Extreme, a few of the TCG mounts that never made it to more than like a thousand printings on the TCG cards. Um, even some of the normal raid boss mounts, like I've seen Ashes of Alar and Drake of the North Winds and the Black the Grand Black War Mammoth, I've seen them on the Black Market Auction House. I've seen the Corrupted Hippogriff on the Black Market Auction House. I've seen the Clutch of Jeekoon. I have seen all sorts of different mounts on the Black Market Auction House. You can also find pets. You can find um, rare crafting materials. You can even find, it's called junk, but you can also find unclaimed Black Market boxes which are items that sold at a previous auction but were never picked up. And the way the black market auction house works is Madame Goya sets out a set of things that are given to her by different sellers across Azeroth and her stock rotates every single day. Auctions run from 1 o'clock in the morning until 10.30 p.m server time on each individual server. Doesn't matter if you are in the EU or if you're in North America or if you're on the Oceanic Realms or if you're in South America, it doesn't matter. From 1 o'clock in the morning server time to 10.30 at night server time are when her auctions are active. At 10.30 p.m. the winning bidder for the individual auctions is notified that hey, you won this auction, come and pick this up at the Black Market Auction House. Some people, they, they'll, make, they'll make bids on certain items. Like if an item's on the Black Market Auction House they really want to get, they'll make a bid on it. And each time you make a bid, you have to increase your bid by 15% over the previous bid. And so for some of the rare amounts, like the Plague Proto Drake, or like even Ashes of Lar, I've seen go for Gold Cap, or the X-51 Nether Rocket Extreme, I've seen go for Gold Cap. You don't really need to do that. You only need to bid up to 785,000 gold. Or I should say 7,800,000 7, gold. Because 15% above that is over the gold cap. It's 10.1 million. Gold cap is 9,999,000. So if you're at 700 and 7,800,000 gold, 15% above that is above gold cap. So, let me show you what the Tier 3 sets look like. So, if we come up to my mini-map, you'll see I have this lovely add-on called Atlas Loot. And I absolutely would recommend getting Atlas Loot because it shows you a lot more than going into your Shift P and going to Appearances and clicking on Sets. Because if we scroll through my Paladin Sets and we come down here, we have, there's Tier 1, there's Tier 2... And then where tier three should be, you see the plate set that you get out of AQ40. And then there's the Heritage of the Sindorai, Righteous Battle Plate. This is the, the 
Trial of Style stuff, and then it goes up here, the Justicar armor, that's tier 4. Tier 3 is not in this list. And it won't be in this list until you have a piece of tier 3 added to your transmog appearance collection. But Atlas Loot, when you click on it, and you click on this menu right here and come down to Collections, and then on this pull-down menu right here, you come down to Tier Sets, you have Tier 3 right there, and we can then look at the Tier 3 set. So for Druids, their Tier 3 set, I believe this is called Dreamweaver stuff, like Dreamweavers or Gallery or whatever it is, looks like this. We'll do a once around. That's the Druids Tier 3 set. It, it has like a, a black cloth above or a black mask, whatever, above the face, so you can't really see their faces, but it gives this dragonkin appearance. It's really cool. Now, the Hunter Tier 3 set looks like this. And I cannot remember the names of all these sets, but I can show you what they look like. The Mage Tier 3 set looks like this. It's in purple, blue, and teal. Almost like aquamarine, and it has mist coming off the shoulders like a frozen mist. Okay, the Paladin Tier 3 set looks like this, with those beautiful gold and white pointed shoulders and the blue gems and the white armor. And there's one thing I've noticed about most Paladin sets. Up at the top, it's really, really bright and clean and striking. But as you move down the armor towards the feet, it gets really, really dark. Look, even the gloves, they start out light and then they fade to dark. And the armor starts out really bright and light and then it just fades. You get down to the boots and the boots are really, really dark. Okay, the priest, tier three set. Looks like this. It's, I believe this is the Vestments of Faith. And they get this cool little flaming halo on their head really cool with light blue and gray and gold even even the priest a little bit it's brighter up here and darker on the bottom all right the rogue tier three set looks like this i love the daggers sticking through the shoulders they look so cool and they get a cool little ninja face mask very cool all right the shaman tier three set looks like this and they get these orbs on their shoulders that just radiate heat and sparks and light and it just looks really cool that's the shaman tier three the warlock tier three set the plague heart stuff looks like this we get like a gas mask for for a helmet it's really really interesting and then finally, the Warrior Tier 3 set. I've actually seen Warriors in this game that have the full Tier 3 set. They're either classic players or they spent a lot of time and a lot of gold on the Black Mark Auction House to get their full Tier 3 sets. Because here's the rub with the Black Market Auction House. Madame Goya, when she sells Tier 3 stuff, usually only sells one piece of a random tier three set one piece and there's eight pieces in the tier three set she'll sell one piece for a random class and if it's your class and you 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 bid on it you have to keep a very close eye on that auction because someone they could outbid you and then you get a notification from the black market auction house you've been outbid come and raise your bid and then you have to pay 15 percent more above the bid that outbid you so it can get very pricey and very expensive so here we are in Dalaran and you notice that is Crassus Landing we are standing right here in Dalaran when you zone in in Dalaran on the Broken Isles whether you take a mage portal or if you even have the Dalaran Hearthstone from the Legion expansion you will appear right here at the edge of the street inside this building that is out in front of Crassus Landing. Because there it is, you, the, the Argus teleporter is right over the KR. But there's Crassus Landing and there's this building right here. And you will spawn in in Dalaran 
standing right there. And then you come out this road. If you take an immediate left, you will go down into the underbelly of Dalaran. Beware. And if you come down these stairs, of course you'll get these rare pop-ups every now and again, which are very helpful if you're trying to get the underbelly tycoon, which I am. I'm almost halfway to 20,000. But you come over here, and right here you'll see this cool red awning. Come down this tunnel, and look. We find Madame Goya, the leader of the black market. Let's see what she has for sale today. So if we talk to her, look, we get... There is a level 85 gun, the Flintlock's Blast Hammer. Looks like that. That's for sale right now on the black market auction house. There's a Teldrassil Sproutling, which is a pet, which is basically a purple trent. There, this is what I'm talking about, the unclaimed black market container. It's, it's classified as junk, but it says an item sold at a previous auction that was never picked up by the winning bidder, buyer beware. That container can have anything in it. It could have mounts, it could have pets, it could have tier three stuff, it could have anything in it. There's also a living sandling pet that you get that from the sandling little mob trash things in Throne of Thunder. There's a living sandling pet there. And there's also Shaney's popping shoulder pads. Beware. Which, which look like this. But right here, the Dreamwalker's headpiece. Item level 62, binds when picked up. Head leather for the Druids. Legacy set, bonus inactive. The Dreamwalker raiment. Remember the Druid tier 3? was green well, well it was white it was a lot of white but there was green accents to it so the tier three druid helmet is for sale today on the black market auction house now i'm not sure if this is the same list for every realm on every server across the entire planet earth i don't know that i know that on my server on Saturday, June 13th, 2020, because I'm recording this video at 1.25 in the morning. But server time, because this server is on East Coast time, it is actually 3.30 according to the server time. And it's after midnight, so the time now says June 13th. It says it is Saturday, right there, June 13th, Saturday, June 13th. I know that on Saturday, June 13th, 2020, Madame Goya has the Dreamwalker headpiece for the Dreamwalker raiment for the Druids. But I don't know if that's the same on every server across this entire game for everybody. I don't know that. But there it is. There's one piece of Tier 3, and she starts her bidding at 10,000 gold. And then from, from there, it just goes up and up and up and up and up. So like I said, you can find mounts, you can find pets, you can find transmog gear, and you can find Tier 3, the only place you can get Tier 3 anymore. It's not from Naxxramas. No, Naxxramas drops Tier 7. But now in Retail World of Warcraft, Tier 3 is found on the Black Market Auction House. And Madame Goya is right there. If you enjoyed this video, feel free, give me a thumbs up, rate me a like. And then, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you always know when new content comes out. Also, please tell your friends about us so they can come and they can enjoy these videos and enjoy the adventures just as much as you do. My regularly scheduled broadcast is going to be, once again, weekly on Sundays, and I'm going to bring out, hopefully, more regular updates with adventures, with side quests, with different cool fun things that you can do in Azeroth scattered here and there. I want to try and do that once a week in the middle of the week, but it might be every other week. It might be once a month. I'm not sure yet because my job in the real world is having me do four tens, which is different than what it used to be because it used to be five eighths, but now it's four tens and I'm adjusting to that and my new normal while we're still dealing with this pandemic BS my new normal is I wake up, I go to work, and then when I get home, I crash, and I sleep until it's time for my next shift. It's it's really wacky, and so I have to record videos on my day off, and I have to record adventures on my day off, and I can't take my really, really, really nice microphone with me to work because it is, it's rather big and bulky and doesn't fit in my computer bag very well. 
so I have to record videos on my day off. And, and so this is what this is what this is. So I want to I want to get out more regular updates and more adventures and more cool things you can do. But my regularly scheduled broadcast will be once again weekly on Sundays. Where this time around we're going to start with the raids, with other cool adventures sprinkled here and there. Finally, and most importantly of all, please remember this. World of Warcraft is just a game. And games are meant to be fun, and you're supposed to have fun while you play them. So if you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. Meet me back here next time when we go after our Tier 4 appearances. And Tier 4 is where things with the, the raid sets change a little bit. Because with Tier 4, there are other things that go on with it, and other different sets that look like it, and the way you acquire it is slightly different than it was with Tiers 1 and 2. I look forward to bringing you that content, and I hope you'll join me next time for that adventure with Tier 4 in the Burning Crusade content. I look forward to bringing you all new adventures in the future, but until, those, until that time arrives, my name is Z. I'm signing off.